Hello my lovelies and welcome back to my little corner where I have a sultry voice because I have now transformed into someone else. Timu! <laughs> Timu, 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 Timu. Um, it was time. It was time to try some beauty products. We have honestly, I, I don't think anything failed at all. I think I got maybe a shade too light in something. Look at the wig, the top. I look, I look and feel adorable, which is what really matters. Okay, so let me show you everything that I got that is beauty related plus this couture from Timu. Alright guys, I am literally in my pajamas. There's a stain on my shirt. We're gonna see if we can take all of this with only Timu products and make it look a lot better. Things that I won't be able to use today, let's go ahead and dive in, are these cute nail gems. I mean, I might not use them right now, but I might add them to these nails. Like, like a hot mess over here. I had to readjust the camera. It was driving me nuts. I had to like sit up straight. I'm not awake for that. The twins are napping. I want to relax. So anyways, the products that I wanted to share with you, but I'm not going to be able to use yet. I'll let you know in the description box what I think are the nail adhesive UV gel. So that's basically what I use to put on my Apray nails. So we'll see if that works similar to the extend gel but basically it's what you bond your nail on with so you put it on your nail cure it on this nail after it's been buffed out cure it and then you can paint it however you want so that's what I have on today as these fall off I'll let you know because I'm gonna try this bad boy I'm not gonna wash my face during this thing so these are the little wristlet things that go on on your wrists obviously when you're washing your face that you don't get your arms and elbows and everything drenched. I've only gotten one other pair of these that I've reviewed from Amazon. And these honestly, these are much nicer. I think I'll swap the other ones out and keep these. <laughs> I love them. Okay, cool. There's a little like makeup brush switcher or anything that I thought that I may not use, but it's essentially what you can use to change your eyeshadow like mid look like say you're using a brush you really it's not just any just any brush literally any powder product you can run it through here and it's cleaned off it will clean off a little bit of cream product too it'll just get dirtier faster next thing i have upside down is a mirror that i got super affordable i actually broke my other one and that's the thing I'll say about this. There's a lot of products in today's haul, but not a lot of money was spent. And again, if you're new, you can get that 30% discount off your first order by using the code that's down below in the description box. Code. I meant code. I'm a little bit concerned that the twins will wake up in the middle of this. So if I go a little quick, comes with the cork. That's why. Okay. She's a little thick, but was very inexpensive like I've looked at replacing the mirror that I had it would have been way too much so not like terribly bright oh it does go higher that was the lowest setting all right all right so we're gonna use that today while I get ready what I like about it already is that I was able to kind of push it down to where it's pointed up at my face I got a pack of beauty sponges eight pieces for like again a ridiculous amount plus they're super cute so i feel like they'll look really adorable displayed in here so initial inspection that feels like real techniques i'm gonna go get it wet and we will see the difference okay so it did grow quite a bit and i will say like sometimes with beauty blenders and honestly beauty blender brand when i go to clean them the first time dye comes out if they're like a bright color no dye came out because I always put like a little bit of antibacterial soap in the first time that I use a beauty sponge. None of that issues. I got dog hair on it because I <laughs> always dry it off with a towel when I'm done so it's not like soaking wet. Like I kind of give it a little squeeze in the towel. Anyway, so we're going to go ahead and get started with this face. This is supposed to be lip plumping though it doesn't say anything on the packaging. It just says vitamin E capsules, day and night lip oil. So we're going to go ahead and use that first and then we'll go in with our foundation. Oh, it was a plumping. I don't know if you're supposed to put both of them on. <laughs> put both of them on. That feels very pleasant. I would put that on before bed. I think it's just a lip oil. I don't feel any tingling out of either one of these yet. Either way, that's a nice way to start your makeup look. <laughs> Some juicy lips. Next up, I'm gonna try BB cream from Timu. This one's by the brand Hey XI. So let's see what this BB cream looks like. Oh, she has a pump. Oh, she's white. She's very white and I tanned yesterday. <laughs> but I always end up getting shades that are too dark for me. 
So, and we got a contour stick. So I guess we'll we'll combine the two. Here we go. We're gonna make this work, okay? I mean, like consistency coming out. It's a little bit thick, but sometimes BB creams are like that. They're like a lotion. It's very wide. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. So I would say go for a darker shade if you get this because I thought this would match me if that makes sense. Even like with a tan on. It is blending into the skin pretty nice. Like <laughs> if I was that shade that would actually look good. <laughs> but we're going to make it work. We're not going to give up on her yet. You know what? I think we're going to use this like a primer. Because it is kind of glowy. I do like what it's doing for my skin. However, I don't have another foundation from Timu. So I'm just going to go off camera. Because I just don't think that's enough coverage for me today. It actually blended out really well. Like, you saw how white my face was. I feel like it still looks a little white. But I also so think that's a little bit of like the illuminating but if you're going for this for foundation you could probably build it up I'm not gonna add more <laughs> because I'm gonna put foundation on top of this but it does leave like a really nice glow to the skin and considering that that's probably a shade or two too light for me it blended in very nicely I don't hate it okay I'm gonna put on some foundation I'll be right back Foundation is on, still looking a little rough, but bear with me. We're gonna go in with this Quick QIC, and it's a Play 101 stick. It's a contour stick. I got mine in the shade color two. So essentially, I was hoping to use this for concealer and contour, like bronzer. We're gonna find out. I didn't get a blush either, honestly. I thought I had gotten a full face. But that's fine. I mean, I feel like we're still trying a lot of things so far. Um, I will say, like, looking at my face. Hey, this might actually work. That's pretty smooth. Looking at my face, like, after the foundation, that BB cream is very luminous. So if you like that, then this is for you, like, 100%. I think me, I don't like to be, like, so super shiny like this I would definitely have to put a powder over I'm going to when this is all said and done just to kind of tone it down a little bit going kind of ham with it because I really want to test it so what I'm gonna do is do that and then go ahead and go in with the bronzer side if that's as smooth as this is we should be fine okay she's not a color that I would normally go for maybe I should have gone darker with this I was afraid that I would get it too dark but she's looking a little peachy. Like, worst comes to worst, I take this off. I do have to go <laughs> do my kids uh, musical tonight. So hopefully this all works out. I'm going to blend out the lighter areas first. I mean, so far I've been pleasantly surprised. Like I said, the BB cream, it doesn't have a super amount of coverage. But I feel like it is a great, like, under foundation glow product. Kind of like the e.l.f. Halo Glow and the Charlotte Tilbury fudge. What is that called? You know what I'm talking about though. It's basically like just a glowy. It, it gives you a little bit of coverage, but not very much. It's really for the glow. And a lot of people are using it under their foundation. I think this is what that is. But they do have other options. I mean, Timmy is full of products, thousands and thousands of products under $10. So make sure you guys check it out if you haven't already. I can't believe how this is blending out. <laughs> I'm honestly shocked at this. Because just the color I didn't think would be very pretty blended out. I think it is. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous about the twins waking up before I get this dang wig on. Oh my god, I'm so excited. So we're going to go ahead and move on. I can always blend more later, so ignore it if it's not flipping. We have to hurry because... I have twins. All right, so this is the Soft Eyes Toast Eyeshadow Palette by Novo. It was one of the prettiest palettes that I could find at the cheapest price point because I did want to try and get like everything I could, but I was trying to do a full face. Is that not actually like so freaking beautiful? I love this. I think it says number two, the first snow in Fiji. So there's one shimmer shade that does have a lot of glitter in it, but we're still gonna do it. 
just a little small brush and I'm gonna go in with a lighter shade and we'll see if it shows up. There's a mirror on this palette too. I'm just gonna take the little filming thing off. Okay, no. I'm actually getting pigment out of that shade. There's no way. This actually is giving me something. Holy crap. We're gonna move on to the next lighter shade. I wanna try and use as many of these as possible, even if I only get to see kind of how it changes. Look. I'm not gonna go like full on crazy in a detail with this. Cause like I said, the twins are gonna wake up. We're gonna go for, and I'm in a hurry, on the go, normal look for me. <laughs> I do wanna jump into some of these darker colors. This one right here does have a little bit of shimmer in it, but this one right here is so neutral. I feel like this palette already is, it's its gonna end up in one of my uh, makeup bags upstairs because I end up using those more than I do <laughs> anything down here because I don't, always get to get down here to like do a full glam so this has got some really beautiful shades in it and it's blending really nicely and there's not like a weird smell oh uh, oh my god that looks like huda that's what that looks like it reminds me of a huda beauty shade that is really pretty it's not like super like chalky or like glitter falling everywhere which I can appreciate because I love to wear, I'd wear glitter all the time if it would just stay put. Okay I'm gonna go in with this little angled brush with the darkest shade in here and just go underneath my lash line real quick. I love this palette. It all starts to come together when you do your eyes doesn't it? Okay we have two products for eyebrows so we're gonna look at them. I, they're both 04. I think it was just a two pack deal. But this is by Hand Dayon. Ooh, I have a green I can put under my eyes. That'll look really good with this color too. Okay, we've got an eyebrow product on one side and a brush on the other. Who's that remind you of? Let's see. I only got one shade, so hopefully it works. It's a little brown brown, but like I'm not hating it. It's a different look for me. I like trying new makeup because it does kind of take me out of my comfort zone and occasionally you just land on a hit. Sorry if my <laughs> mirror was in my face the whole time. I definitely am not good at multitasking. And then I'm gonna run the brush through them real quick just to kind of smooth them out and see if there's any spots that I missed. That is a nice sturdy brush, we like that. Wow, there's so much glow on my skin. I look like a freaking mermaid. All right, this says lip and eyeliner. So you can use it on your lips or your eyes. It's green. I'm gonna go underneath my lash line, maybe in my waterline. <gasps> Oh my gosh. You know how you go to put something in your waterline and it doesn't show up? You don't have that problem here. Shade on this I think is color 06. Ooh, we're getting sultry here. Okay, let's see what this other I am lip liner. I think this is black. Yeah. I am lip liner. I mean like, hey, more power to you. All right, so this will do up here. I will say the other one was really, really smooth. Okay, I'm gonna stop there. <laughs> I could literally do this all day. I love playing with my makeup. We have some mascara, and we have a lip set, and then we have tools to put on our lashes. So I have a lash glue and a little, um, um, like the lash holder tweezery things. Ooh, yeah, I'm glad I said all that because I also have eyelash curlers. I always forget to curl my eyelashes. Like. All the time. Oh, you know what this is? <laughs> this isn't an eyelash curler. This is for magnetic lashes. You can line them up on the bottom and on the top and then put them on. 
I'm not gonna do that today because I, I know they'll wake up and I need to get the rest of my makeup done and this wig on. So we're just gonna skip that part, but we will find some lashes to put on. This actually reminds me of that one color, CoverGirl one. And now for lashes. I'm just gonna throw on some that I get very inexpensively since that's what we're doing with this look. And the foundation I used was drugstore as well. So we're gonna use our little pool, we're gonna use our lashes, our lash glue. I honestly need about 15 of those because I have to like track them down wherever they are throughout the house. The eyelash glue packaging looks really promising. It says super hold adhesive, easy to remove, invisible, suitable for beginners. It's five millimeters. It says it's easy to apply. I love that it's pink, it's super cute. It's white, the glue is white. So it's gonna be one of those that's white and then turns clear. So we're gonna wait a minute. We're just gonna let this bad boy dry after I get it fully saturated. And I always do extra little beads at the beginning of the lash and at the end of the lash. I actually really like how the look is turning out. I may throw on like blush and stuff later, but we still have a lip kit. This is, we'll just talk about it while I'm doing this. We'll multitask. I multitask, have twins, so I know how to do that. Um, it is a lip contour kit and it reminds me of somebody, like Moni. And this one I got in the shade 01, hoping that it would be super nude and super cute. There is what it looks like. It does look very familiar. And then here is the lip liner. We will use that after I get my lashes on. One on, one to go. It seems like it's holding really well, even though I may have brushed it just a little bit. Well, it looks like I'm holding this and doing my lippy. <laughs> this is all I wanted to get done during their nap. But I did spend some of my get this done time cleaning up the house, so that's my bad for one also to have a clean home. Uh huh. She is smooth. That's cute. <laughs> cute. Okay. Let's go ahead and try not to drop my lash. Get ready. Ooh, that's a lot of coordination going on there. Try and get closer. I feel like I've been hiding from you the whole time. Okay. It actually feels like, and smells like something like good for your skin. Like it's got some oils and stuff in it. All right, that eyelash is drying. We're gonna <laughs> look at it again and see if we need to make adjustments. But I really, really, really just want to get this wig on. So here we go. <laughs> just like... We had so much fun with wigs last time and me and my friend Tabitha were talking and she mentioned she really loved this wig and I was like, let me get it and try it for us. So here we go. This beautiful baby. <sighs> She's like purple and goes to gray. I love it, but like she has a dark root. She has a center part, which is all the rage apparently with the young ones. Let's see. All right, here we go. Diving in. We don't have any like clips to go into our hair. We just have this like bra strap clip at the back. All right, guys, so here she is. I think she would look super cute, but I, like with a hat, but I don't have one down here. Now, let me go ahead and transform everything else and get on a cute Timu outfit. All right, guys, so this is the look. I just threw on a little headband to kind of soften the hairline because I didn't do any kind of plucking or anything like that, and I really don't have it on that great. But I threw on this little crop top that I got specifically for these overalls because I thought it was so stinking cute. I really wanted this style top for these overalls and I found this top on Timu and absolutely love it. Cam could not wait to share it with you guys because it's so freaking cheap. It literally hugs me. It is so adorable. I love the color and I love the way the look turned out today. I think it is so cute. It really is crazy that I did this whole thing, almost outfit and everything, for like dollars. It's, it's nuts. So I am impressed. 
the eyelashes are staying on. I think everything looks really good. And I had a blast doing it, which is what really counts. We haven't had a get ready with me together in so long. It was well overdue. And it's really fun to be able to like check out all of the beauty products that Timu had available. The discount code and links will be down below. If you guys liked today's video, please give it a big old thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. But other than that, I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go for now, but no worries. I'll be back very soon. Till then, my loves. Bye.